If you're looking for fostering that combines the best of the old and the new on a budget, then this video is for you. Hi everyone, my name is Gregor Fries and today I'm accompanied by my buddy Phil Rehm on bass. And this is a Cord Elric NJS4 in white, which is a collaboration between Master Lufia, Rob Elric and Cord Guitars. Cord does these collabs from time to time. You might remember the Arona bass from a few years back, which was designed by my buddy Holger Stonik, who is the founder and owner of Sandberg Guitar. This is actually the second time I'm working with Rob Elric. The first one came out, I guess, around 15 years ago. And man, I love this bass. It sounded, it played, it looked absolutely amazing. Great bass. But honestly, this one here, I think they've reached a new level. These are new heights. If you're playing modern basses and kind of love these old Fender shapes, but just never could get used to these passive electronics and the old school feel, then I think this here is exactly what you should be looking for. Yes, it's based on a classic shape, but in here you will find everything that you would usually only find in very modern basses. Let's start with 24 frets plus zero frets, so the open string sounds exactly the same as anything played on the fretboard. We have a super comfortable neck transition that allows you to reach all those extra frets. Then we got the bolt on neck hold in place by six screws. We got a solid 2D bridge and an active three band EQ. But the most unusual feature besides the pickup placement is the angled headstock. That's something you rarely ever see on a bass like this. Straight headstocks are just a thing so the manufacturer can save some time and money. Angled headstocks like this are far superior because they prevent string slips and dead notes. I mean, just look how straight the strings go to the tuners. There's no unnecessary friction. That's brilliant. NJS is based on Rob Elric's new jazz standard models, that's where these three letters come from. They are similar in appearance, but of course uh, this is just a fraction of the price, a third to be exact. But of course uh, Rob Elric's bases are handmade in the US. <laughs> Now let's have a quick run through the specs list. The NJS comes with an alder body, three-piece maple neck and a maple fretboard. The scale is standard 34 inches and the fretboard radius is 12 inches. Not quite as flat as some modern bases, but also not as round as a vintage Fender. The width at the bow nut is 42 millimeters. The pickups are so-called VBTST single coils, with a voicing created especially for this bass. The three-band EQ comes from Bartolini and features push-pull options to change the mid-frequency and to disengage the preamp entirely. But more interesting is of course what's going on with the pickups here. The bridge pickup actually sits in the standard 60s jazz bass position, only obviously the neck pickup is a lot closer. There's a certain group of bass players who swear on the original pickup positions and those are allowed and only those. I personally, as a Sandberg player, I don't have these feelings. We have different pickup positions as well and I'm absolutely fine with this. I judge basses by their, their, their sound and their feel mainly and this sounds amazing, so end of story. <laughs> So what else is there to mention? Of course we have block and lace. Uh, we have a price of slightly less than a thousand bucks, which is crazy. It's just crazy. I mean, but, but it's good, of course. Uh, the base also comes with a very decent and very nice looking gig bag. And 
I just think it's it's the whole package. It's like almost like Kort's even more modern answer to the Marcus Miller bass. To be honest, I'm rather fascinated by this bass. I also really want to try the five string now. This is just such a complete design. Um, there's not only just nothing to complain here. I think this is actually a base where other brands, that other brands can take and just have a look what you can do below a thousand bucks. This is really a benchmark instrument. Fascinating. If you're not convinced yet, just watch my face as I touch this neck. Wait for it. Ah. <sighs> Honestly, feels so good. Such a good neck. And uh, actually, I a few weeks ago, I recorded Derek Bennett in Chicago, uh, where he played um, on his Eric bass, which is exactly the NJS or like the new jazz standard model. This model here is based on, and I will try to uh, finish this up in the next days and weeks so we get, so they come around at the same time, so you actually get to have a bit of an AB between the highly expensive handmade version and the more affordable chord version. And that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like this video. Please subscribe to our channel to see more of those. Please buy our merch. Please come back next week and uh, see you again, I guess. Bye-bye. Uh,